Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and this is the next video in our series on WooCommerce template structure and how to override uh, specific files via the use of a child theme. Um, ultimately, the goal of this series is to give you more control over your WooCommerce powered site so that you can customize it and really make it your own. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to do uh, in this video. We're going to focus on the cart page and we're going to make a few updates to it. Uh, so I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change this message here that says your cart is empty. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go to uh, this documentation that WooThemes has provided on their template structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to take a look and figure out which file we need to actually update first. So if I look at it, I'm going to see cart, and I know it's something within the cart. So I see cart-empty. And that's the file that we're going to go ahead and modify first in order to change this message here to something else. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up FileZilla, go ahead and connect, and then I'm going to go find my site, digitaldownloadsdemo.com, and I'm going to go to WP Content, and then I'm going to go to Plugins, and I'm going to scroll down to WooCommerce and then I'm going to go to templates and open that up Oops. and then I'm going to open up the cart folder right here alright and then you'll see cart-empty.php I'm going to right click on that and select view edit <clears throat> so this is what we're going to uh, need to modify in order to change uh, that message and here's the message right here you'll see your cart is currently empty let's just change it to you something else you currently have zero items in your shopping cart okay so I made my change I'm gonna go ahead and copy everything and I'm gonna open up notepad plus plus and I'm going to paste it into notepad plus plus and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it as it needs to be named the exact same thing so it has to be named cart-empty.php so we'll go ahead and save it as that alright and I'll go ahead and save that and then I'm going to go back to FileZilla I'm going to reconnect I'm going to go to my site and we're going to go to WP content but this time we're going to go to themes and then we're going to find the theme that we're using in this case is the mistyle child theme you should always be using a child theme uh, when making these uh, updates so I'm going to open up the mistyle child theme within there I created a directory called WooCommerce so I'm going to open that and now within this WooCommerce directory I need to create a new one called cart so if we go take a look at the documentation you'll see that's the name of this directory so I need to make that so I'm going to go ahead and right click and create directory and we're going to call it cart. Alright, so we have a cart directory created and if we take a look again at the structure you'll see uh, cart-empty.php is within that cart so I'm just going to go ahead and find cart-empty.php uh, which is right here. I'm going to take it and just drop it into the cart folder and then I'm going to go back out to the site and I'm going to refresh the page and this should change to our new message. Alright, so now we have, uh, well I spelled it wrong, but uh, your cart, are you currently have, actually I didn't, you currently have zero items in your shopping cart. Alright, again you can change that to whatever you want or you can make any customization to that file you want. I'm just doing simple uh, text or just changing the text, but again you can do whatever you want to it. Um, and a nice thing too about using a child theme and doing it this way is when we upgrade to the latest version of WooCommerce, we're not going to lose these customizations, they'll still be here. Um, all right, let's do another thing. Let's uh, let's go ahead and add an item to the cart. So we'll just add this uh, item, this WooCommerce child themes to the cart. All right, so now let's go ahead and view our cart. Okay, so now you'll see that there's cross cells that show up. Uh, let's say I wanted to change that message right here that says you you may be interested in. Uh, let's go back to the uh, WooThemes documentation on overriding uh, WooCommerce templates and let's figure out which one we need to open up uh, to modify. So 
Um, you'll see under cart, and then there's cross-cells.php. That's the one we're going to want to open. All right, so let's go back to FileZilla, reconnect. Let's go find, go to our site. We're going to go to WP Content. We're going to go to Plugins. We're going to open up WooCommerce, and then we're going to open up Templates, and then we're going to uh, again open up Cart. And there's cross cells.php. So we're going to go ahead and view slash edit that. All right, and then this is where we can make the modifications um, to that. You'll see right here. You may be interested in. Uh, I'll just change that to something else. Um, let's just say other products you may like. Okay, so I've made my customization. Again, you can make whatever customizations to these files that you want. I'm just doing simple ones because I'm uh, more focused on just showing you the right process to modify, to override these templates instead of actually what I'm changing. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and copy the, all of that and I'm going to open up Notepad++ and paste it in. And now I need to save it exactly as as it uh, as it is. So it needs to be cross dash cells dot php is what I have to name it when I save it. So file save as cross cells dot php. All right. So now that we've saved it, uh, our modified file, I'm going to go ahead and connect again, and we're going to go to go find the site. And this time we're going to go to themes. We're going to open up our Mistyle child theme and open up the WooCommerce directory. And we're going to, again, just take cross cells.php, drop it into the cart folder. And then we're going to go back up to the site. And this should now change to our new text. If I scroll down, you'll see it now says other products you may like. Alright, so that's just a quick example of how you can make some simple changes to uh, the cart page templates for WooCommerce. Um, again, if you go and take a look at uh, just the different directories and files that you can modify using the same process, it's really uh, quite extensive what you can, what you can uh, customize on your site. So uh, there will be more videos in this series showing you how to do uh, more specific things, so please stay tuned for those. And again, if you haven't already uh, read the full version of this tutorial out on uploadwp.com, I would encourage you to do so. Thanks for taking time to watch this one. Again, my name is Adam and I'll see you in the next video.